There are heaps of weapon mods, perks, and now relics in Grab Champions. However, in my experience playing with friends and watching other people play, there's more than a handful of items that I feel are hugely underrated. In this video, I'll be going through those items and explaining why I think they're underrated. And if you learn a thing or two, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It really helps spread the Crab Champions content across YouTube. Starting off strong, we have the Dynamic Duo, Adrenaline and Red Fury. And yes, they're two perks, but we can couple them together. When you eliminate an enemy with these perks, they become active for five seconds. Adrenaline gives you a 33% increased fire rate and Red Fury gives a 33 increased percent of global damage. The reason these are so underrated is because you're virtually guaranteed to have 100% uptime on them as they refresh after every single elimination. This includes destructibles as well, like elemental rocks, barrels, bye, and even bye, mushrooms. Bye. Plus, you don't need to get them any higher than rank one because the upgrade version only increases the duration, which you should be able to refresh anyway. If you're still not convinced, let's compare them to other perks and mods. Adrenaline has an 8% increased fire rate compared to Supercharge, which is an epic weapon mod. And Red Fury has an 8% damage increase when compared against the majority of damage mods like Eagle Eye, Danger Close, Vitality, etc. Plus, Red Fury adds a whopping 18% extra in damage when compared to Juice, which is another epic weapon mod. These perks are so easy to get as they're in the rare category, so there's literally no reason not to pick them up on every run. Up next, we have Driller. Most of you probably know and like Driller, so you're probably wondering why I've put it on this list. Well, in the variety update 2, Driller got an unintentional buff, which makes it a lot stronger. So Driller gives you a 4% chance to receive an item when destroying an elemental rock and the higher the rank of Driller, the higher the percentage chance. Now with the new update, we have way more destructibles on the map, from the demolition nest to the new cacti on every single desert island. We've gone from only seeing a few destructibles per island to having a plethora on each one. And if you add crystal fertilizer, you're gonna see even more. Economy is king in Crab Champions, so the more drops you get, the more salvageable loot at your disposal, which means more money to spend at the shop on the things you want. If you get the chance, pick up at least one rank of Driller. You won't regret it when you're swimming around in loot. Now next we have Valued Customer, which is a real sleeper perk in my opinion. The way it works is every time you buy an item at Tony's shop, you receive 15 max HP. It's that simple. Well, picture this, you're currently on that Monopoly build where you're desperate to see Tony at the end of every biome. You're picking up every single perk at Tony's shop and he's rampantly trying to restock the shop to fulfill your retail therapy. Even if you have rank one and buy 10 items, you'll get a three 150 max HP. Obviously, the higher the rank, the better, but you're getting free max HP for doing pretty much nothing. And the likelihood is that you'll get at least four perks at every shop. Is this perk better than stacking big hearts? Probably not. However, is it an underrated perk that you keep in your back pocket? Absolutely. Next, we have flammable armor and explosive armor. Another two buff variety part two perks. These perks are pretty straightforward. When you remove armor from an enemy, they will either explode or combust, causing AOE damage around them. These two perks are so good because they can quite literally nuke entire waves of enemies in one hit, making the armored enemies modifier laughable. Whilst they won't carry you to the golden crab, they will cause extra damage and scale really well with global damage, so you'll never not have a use for them. They've also been adjusted from epic to rare perks, which mean they're easy to find and stack quickly. Pick one of them up and just watch that armor melt away. Random Shot is another sleeper perk. I don't think Random Shot is a truly underrated perk, but the amount of people I've watched reject the power of Random is... Well, I mean, it happens a lot. Random Shot gives you a chance of using any of the elements, including ones that don't exist yet. So, one minute they're on fire, and then the next, they're a solid ice cube. Whilst the proc percentage is lower than any of the other elementals you've got, 
there's going to be the power of random on your side, and that's infinitely more fun. Plus, with a cluster launcher, it makes it look all pretty. Honestly, random shot is usually the best pick after poison and arcane, but if you're feeling particularly spicy, pick it up and let me know what you think. Next up, we have light shot. Now, I guarantee that everyone who has seen this mob sees the words deal less damage and immediately put it into the garbage category. However, let old no scrub educate you. Light shot gives you 15% fire rate in exchange for 15% less damage on your shots. This is a weapon mod, so it doesn't affect your perk damage, only your bullet damage. With the increased fire rate, this means your precious may shot dagger arc build gets a huge buff whilst your measly bullet damage suffers. And in reality, it makes no difference because most weapons have such a low bullet damage anyway, by removing 15%, it's usually less than one damage. If you're rocking a fast fire rate weapon, then pick this bad boy up. Faster fire rate equals more chances to proc equals a higher damage output. This is the first and only relic on this list, but it's the Ring of Destruction. I recently made a video on all the relics in the game, and I glanced over the Ring of Destruction citing that it's very situational, but man, I'm happy to be wrong. When holding this relic, anytime you destroy a rock, you will reset all your melee and ability cooldowns. However, the tooltip is wrong. This relic works on all destructibles, barrels, rocks, cacti, and mushrooms. They all count. And before you comment, yes, Noisestorm knows and it's okay that this is how it works. With this in mind, this relic will give you a crazy uptime on your abilities and melee cooldown, with the ability to spam everything until the island is completely empty. Moving on, we have Nourishing Salvage. I've been in love with this perk ever since I realized how well it paired with Equalizer and during the early game. The way this perk works is when you salvage an item, you get 250 HP back, which late game is pretty bad, but early game, this can be a life or death difference. When you have something like Nourishing Salvage, you can be a little bit more risky with totems and you can often use that to snowball quickly because you've got that constant health source. I often prefer to have these types of perks just because they're a little more consistent than things like Health Shot and Regenerator. Test it out, it's a genuinely helpful perk in the early game and I think you're going to get a lot out of it. Before the last one, just a quick honourable mention to my homeboy Vitality. If you've ever watched my stream or any of my videos, then you'll know I go crazy for Vitality. If you don't pick up Vitality, you're not welcome in the stream. <laughs> you're just not welcome. And why wouldn't I? A 25% global damage increase for keeping my health above 85%? What's not to like? If you're playing the game right and keeping your health high, you can have a constant 25% global damage and it's an immediate scaling perk, so you'll see that damage straight away. Just pick it up, honestly you have no excuse, and if I tune into another stream and see someone ignoring it, I will literally send a bunch of kangaroos to your house right now. Last up, we have the wonderful Grip Tape. For the more experienced players, I hope this isn't a surprise, but Grip Tape is an amazingly useful weapon mod that adjusts the spread of your bullets and certain weapon mods. So, for example, if you're rocking a bunch of formation shots like arc shot or square shot, grabbing a few ranks of Grip Tape will drastically decrease the spread, bringing your bullets closer together. You could even take it to rank 4 and have a single bullet, but who would, who would do such a silly thing like that? <laughs> Grip Tape also works with Dagger Arc, May Shot, Piercing Wave, Reload Arc, and Sharpened Axes, which makes those weapon mods even more deadly. It's honestly a solid weapon mod, and it can easily slot itself into most builds. So there you have it. They're my underrated items for this video. I'd love to know if you agree or disagree, and what perks you think are underrated. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like or even a cheeky sub to get the old YouTube algorithm kicking. Hopefully you end up using a few of these perks in the future, and I'll catch you in the next one.